Welcome to the Monday, May the 1st, 2023 meeting of the Montpelier Design and Review Committee. At this point, we'll let members and staff introduce themselves. Benjamin Cheney, member. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett, member. Martha Smirsky, member. Liz Pritchett, member. And at this point, we'll let Meredith review the remote meeting procedures and process. Yep. So we just have Liz on remotely tonight, um, but I need to do this for people who are potentially watching via Orca Media. So just make sure that's showing correctly. It is. All right. So for anyone who is watching tonight's design review committee meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in tonight's discussion via the Zoom platform either through uh, video or telephone access options. To join the Zoom meeting on your computer or your phone, you can um, plug your, well, your internet capable phone. You can type this into your web browser and it will take you into the Zoom platform and you'll have um, video options to be able to see what we're screen sharing um, as well as to be able to ask questions and otherwise participate. Um, alternatively, you can dial this phone number and put in this meeting ID with prompted, um, and I will get that request and let you into the meeting. Um, if anyone is having problems using either of these options to access tonight's design review committee meeting, please email me at mcrandall at montpelier-vt.org. I will be monitoring my email throughout the meeting. Um, if anyone does come on tonight via Zoom, know that turning your video on is optional. We do ask that anyone who is in the meeting, please put your microphone on mute. This will help prevent background noise. Um, and do know that if you do try to, if you do get on, please reserve the chat function for um, troubleshooting or logistics questions. Any actual questions about a topic on tonight's agenda um, should be done verbally. You can raise your hand. Um, with either the little raise hand button um, or by doing so if you're on video and we will uh, let you let you know when it's safe for you to talk. Um, in the event the public is unable to access tonight's meeting, it will need to be continued to a time and place certain. Thank you and I will hand this over to the chair. At this point, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. I'll second it. All in favor of the agenda, speak your names. Ben. Martha. Steve. Yes. Okay, agenda is approved. Uh, unless anybody has anything to add at this point, we can go to the first application for 28 State Street, Overlake Park, applicant Brian Lewis. I'm assuming you're Brian. Come forward and describe your sign for us. Uh, the projecting sign, um, it's 24 inches in diameter. Uh, with the yellow mustard logo on it and a uh, red metal rim uh, using pre-existing holes to be mounted. Brian, we talked earlier about the fact that it's already up there. Yeah. But, yeah. My apologies. Again, no, I, we understand where I you're coming from. No. Um, and in the future, as stated, <laughs> I'll make sure the paperwork's in prior to um, anything else happening. <laughs> okay. That, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, it looks good to me. And actually, the physical thing looks good to me, too. Yeah, the, the gentleman who did it, Gary Blodgett, is a super talented sign maker. He does all of the signs for the local mountains, and he's a really fantastic fabricator. Oh, Where's the microphone? Oh, did, did you hear that? The, the gentleman, Gary Blodgett, who made the sign is a he's just a talented artist yeah. and, and fabricator out of huntington vermont where's his shop in huntington vermont it's called color shack mm -hmm. uh, he builds custom motorcycles and uh he redid the gondola for stowe this year and he does all of the trophies for uh like world cup racing and like yeah. all different stuff he's just a nice. really cool guy yeah surprising talent tucked away in the hills of Vermont. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, I, I 
I found him when I had my motorcycle painted. I was recommended to him, and we've been friends ever since. So, yeah. Good. Does anybody have any comments, questions, suggestions about the sign? Nope. Liz, I think it looks great. I love your logo. Yes. Thank very, you. Very nicely done. Thank you. I think You're it's welcome. <laughs> good yeah yeah well, i'm glad everyone likes it that's why we need live specimens here yes. <laughs> there's a set of criteria that i just i'm going to read through very quickly regarding the sign the size location design color texture lighting and material of all mm -hmm. exterior signs within the design review overlay district shall be compatible with the buildings and structures of the site and surrounding properties acceptable. Where appropriate, signing shall respect the original sign placement and sign bans on historic structures. The overhanging is fine at this location. If a building has multiple tenants, there shall be consistency in placement and size among all signs acceptable. It is recommended that sign placement be centered over building entrances. In this case, this one is acceptable. Sign installation shall minimize damage to character defining materials on the building. And again, it's acceptable you're using existing mounting holes in the building. In masonry buildings, fasteners shall be in the mortar joints. Uh, I'm assuming it looks like it's already there at this location. Sign design color and typography shall respect historic precedents where appropriate and shall be the appropriate scale for existing and new buildings acceptable. Sign support structures shall be compatible with the building architecture and must not only it must not be overly complex or dominant in and of themselves acceptable. Those are all the criteria that apply. All in favor of the sign as applied for, speak your names. Ben. Martha, I'm a yes. Steve says yes. Yes, yes. So the sign is approved. Great. Thank you very much. So we'll, um, do you want us to just mail the permit to you? Sign's already up. You probably don't need to rush over and pick up that. Pick up that. Uh, that would be fantastic. Okay. Yeah. And we need, as long as they're here, there's a signature that you can enter on the bottom, you know, right below my name. Great. Great. What's the sign designer's name again? Okay. I always like to know good resources like yeah, that. Super talented guy. Thank you. And Thank you. good luck with the sign and the. In a few weeks, probably for the uh, filibuster sign. So. Awesome. And anything else that you want to do on the outside, if you just fixing the railing and having it stay as it looks the same. That doesn't need a permit. If you decide to tweak the railing, no, that might need to come back. What's been broken, like cool. the, the hanging rod, and the, there's four missing rods. We're just gonna have those replaced by the same people who built the, which is me. What's that? Which is me. That's you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. That's a self promotion here. I mean, he doesn't look exactly thrilled that he has to fix it. They were all busted out. So, but yes, we'll fix it. Thank you. And it's nice to meet you as well. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Thank you. <laughs> and we can go to the next application for 100 Main Street. Uh, City Line Realty. Applicant Wes Hamilton. Welcome, Wes. Are you part of City Line or is that... Good Lord, no. No. <laughs> uh, I was going to say that, that. That would be my brand new landlord, who I'm sure the city is familiar with. Who's yes. also over Lake Park. Uh, they, I would only assume he's many, many people. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, our application is for a parklet. Yes. So, yeah, this is just as a reminder to the Design Review Committee. Um, the city adopted a revised parklet ordinance um, that took effect for this season during COVID. 
they basically waived the normal review processes that had been put into effect when the parklets first started. And then they they waived those. So none of these were going through the design review process or really any process, not even river hazard process over the last couple of years. Um, and now with the new ordinance going into effect, even ones that had gotten approval pre-COVID had to go back through the process. Um, now at this point, it won't come back through design review committee, um, even if Wes reapplies at the, the like three year renewal period, unless there's a design change to the parklet or the design review regulations change, the applicable okay. ones. Um, what will happen is it'll come into the planning department. We'll check the rules. We'll check the approvals. If those are all still the same, we'll just do a checkbox that goes up to the city manager's office. So, so that we're, what we're doing here is for three years, basically? Oh, or potentially more, right? If the design doesn't change and the design review regulations don't change, it'll be just sort of an administrative review through the planning department yeah. so that you guys don't have to keep seeing it over and over again, even if Wes has to get a new quote, parklet permit in three years. Yeah, I appreciate that because I was, I was like, am I going to have to do this every year? No. Right? Which, not that I mind seeing you all, no. but you know. Yeah, but there'll be, there'll well, be some. Celtics are on tonight. Or so, you yeah. have a year list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there'll be some, I think, administrative paperwork aspects through the manager's office. Yeah. Um, but you won't necessarily come here, especially if it's Right, state unless state. we change our if design change, or major yeah. alterations. Or the regulations change. That's then great. you'll come back through in three years. I appreciate that. Is there that's anything great. that's changed from this year to last year? No, and I just... um. No, nothing. And I, I would assume at this point, the park that we've been doing the past several years, you're all presumably familiar with. Um, and, you know, when we put it together, I worked closely with Bill Frazier, um, as well as at the time he had put me in the loop with somebody who I don't remember their name from the uh, public works, you know, because that was high on my mind in COVID times when it was like, do whatever the heck you want. I was yeah. like, well, but I'm only going to do this once. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, hopefully everything looks good to you because I intentionally worked closely with them a few years ago to make it make sense, um, you yeah, know, and for, for everybody's needs. I just was asking if there was anything that's changed. No, we, we never had a problem with it never. yeah no it's there's you, you there's, guys did a nice job with it yeah thank you no there's that's we, we want to just keep putting that in and and you were smart because if you do it right once <laughs> that well that's <laughs> kind of the theory that's the theory yeah yeah and yeah. you know keep reusing it yeah absolutely yeah, yeah yours is one of the sturdiest ones we have seen downtown yeah it's, well I, it's I mean, been uh, great again we we <laughs> I, I appreciate that feedback and you know that again from from the beginning it was like let's do it right the first time and never do this ever again <laughs> what become yeah, very popular about your your lighting's the same right the lighting is the same yeah it's just the 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 rope lighting yeah. mm -hmm. um that we mm -hmm. that we run around it mm -hmm. and yeah so so we're all familiar with it we live through it so i would yeah. i would yeah. think so yeah okay. <laughs> well it's nice to add that many extra seats to your business Especially well, I, I think so. Our kitchen at times doesn't necessarily <laughs> agree, um, but but yeah, it's 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 turned into an actually crucial part of our business. That that's you know mm -hmm. the difference. You know, I mean, we uh, and you know this is kind of a little bit of field, but you know, uh, in a different world, or maybe if we were a little closer to a coast, we would be closed for six months through the winter and then start back up for the busy season because we just uh bleed money all winter and then we put that parklet out and we recover everything and and hopefully put enough in the bank to make it through the winter and now we're just yeah. in the cycle of just repeat that so yeah yeah good it's, it's nice boost it's been absolutely fantastic for us good good yeah. good yeah anybody have any comments questions suggestions and i'll go through the criteria for the the project for the parklet there's just a few that apply most of them yes to be not applicable exterior design and materials of new construction or alterations of existing buildings shall be consistent and compatible with the characteristics of the existing building or other properties uh and again new construction shall be considered to be compatible if the materials used possess a kind or type that are appropriate to the district 
Materials selected shall fit the neighborhood context of the proposed building and or reflect the nature and use of the structure acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, mechanical equipment, trash storage, fencing shall be cited to minimize adverse visual impact or adequately and appropriately screened from public view acceptable. Outdoor lighting fixtures. Structural design of outdoor lighting fixtures shall be compatible with the architectural design and function of the building and compatible with the neighborhood acceptable. Landscaping, screening, and site furnishings. Projects within the design review district and subject to the landscaping requirements in section 3203 shall consider the following site furnishings, including fencing, seating, and other types of site furniture visible from the street or side yards does landscaping obscure or undermine key architectural patterns or elements on historic buildings? Mechanical equipment screening, acceptable. And lastly, accessory buildings and structures. New accessory buildings or structures shall be located within either the side yard or rear yard and shall not visually disrupt the streetscape or affect the integrity of the existing building or proposed new building. And again, the location and where it is is the only possible location, yeah. so that's acceptable. I was looking at as for for parklets in general, whether there's some aspect of, of them that is too disruptive of view of like the yeah. buildings or the sign bands or something like that. If some of them went really high, that that and streetscape the, disruption was yes. the critical part yeah. here. And that comment was staff suggests that some review of parklets under this criteria for accessory buildings regarding disruption of the streetscape may be applicable here. And obviously that's acceptable based on your design. And all in favor of the application is presented. Speak your names. Ben. Martha, I'm a yes. Steve says yes. <laughs> yes. I assume that was a yes. Yeah. That was a yes. <laughs> yeah. So this is, you know, the what it's instead of the design review committee's recommendations going to me to issue a permit or to the development review board, it's going to the city manager. Um, and what he's doing is he's taking the input from all the different relevant departments mm -hmm. and then deciding what to do with the applications for the parklets. The, the design review committee will be seeing more of these for new parklets. Yep. Um, you know, a lot of the locations that put in um, less long-term installations over the next, over the last couple of years, mm -hmm. you know, if they want to do that again, they've got to come in and they've got to this time actually meet all the criteria and the requirements for safety and everything else. Okay. You did all the right things up front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I There's a place for you to sign here on the application just right below my name there. Um, I do that um, streetscape thing, that last criteria that you were just mentioning. Um, is that about kind of like the, the the overall kind of visual aesthetics of the space or is that more like sight lines for cars and that kind of thing it can be a combination a combination of the boat it, yeah it, it, yeah i mean it's basically uh, other cars parking there and then uh, approaches to and then looking at it from even if you're on the sidewalk across the street just to make sure that whatever is constructed doesn't yeah in, interfere with it yeah, I, I the, the reason is curious, and yeah, obviously we just got the approval, so that's fine. But um, I know that um, I've well, I've heard of a murmuring here and there, like when we first put it in about sight lines off of um, Hazen Place there. Oh, oh for driving purposes. for driving so, purposes. So yeah. that is more of a Department of Public Works concern. Okay, design review is really about design aesthetic okay. sort of more and how it impacts other so nearby buildings so so design review <laughs> doesn't want to hear about that All right, great. um that would be if that would be if there's concerns about that and somebody has provided comments since this now has that whole like making sure you uh, you know reach yep. out to neighbors um 
if those comments come into the city manager's office, he'll go to the Department of Public Works or he should. That's who you go to. That's who our in-house experts are on those things. Um, and they know what all of the the Vermont transportation standards are for those kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, you know, I'm not worried about it. I just figured yeah. I'll hear and say my two cents, but you guys aren't even looking at it, so I won't give you no, my two cents. No, nope. and we yeah. couldn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> no, right. and that's feel at, free. at least not that part of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, no. So that would be something to go to Department of Public Works, or you, I mean, you can approach me, and I can also filter it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not for anything right. bigger. Just, uh, yeah, cool. I'm, Worry about it. Awesome. So then awesome. this goes to the city. So then I'm I'm following up with the the city manager's, uh, manager's office. office yep. on. So I will do a scan of this and I will send it to the city manager's office. Um and I'll send you a copy just so you have it as well. Um and then yes, yeah, city manager's spot at this point. Um you already so Audra will need to issue the river hazard, but that wasn't. Yeah, that's on fine. This. I'll follow up with that. Just that yeah. whole email thread that exists. Um, I just, you know, since today was the day that we were planning to install, um, I will follow up with them in the morning. Yeah, um, and I'm sorry, Audra was out today. I don't know if you tried to call her. She's was out sick, so hopefully yeah, she'll I, be in tomorrow. Think, yeah, yeah, awesome. Thank cool. you all so much. Thank okay. you. Good, Good luck. luck. Hope the weather cooperates for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we install ASAP. Mm -hmm. Friday, I'm hoping. Yes. Yeah. Friday looks Sometime like a time for the weekends. Mm -hmm. Weather. Yeah. Yeah. And the bikes. And the, so and the bike swap yeah, this weekend is nice. going to be yeah. really busy. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, yeah. yeah. we will stop because of weather. Uh, because this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We won't try. <laughs> Thanks, Wes. Thank Bye. You. We can take a look at the minutes. If anybody has any questions, comments, or suggestions regarding the minutes. Um, I've read them, and I think they're fine the way they are. I said this. all in. <laughs> okay. I guess that was all a motion. So. That, was a, that was considered a motion okay. and it's been seconded. All okay. in favor of the minutes for April the 17th, speak your names. Ben. Martha. And Steve. Minutes are approved. Does anyone have anything else to bring up or offer? If not, do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. And I'll second it. All in favor, speak your names. Ben. Martha. Steve. Yes. Okay, thank you all for coming. Thank you, everybody. Uh, as far as I know, we'll have an application for review on the 17th, but I'll, I'll let you know if we get closer and suddenly we don't. Okay.